Okay, today's lesson is going to be about adding integers. So the first thing you need to know is the definition of an integer. And an integer is a positive or negative whole number and it also includes zero. So if you look down here, oh where's my pointer? Let me get my pointer out real quick again. Tools, pointer, okay so here's my pointer. So right here these are all examples of integers because they're whole numbers, right? 0, 1, 42, negative 87, 800, negative 6, and negative 5. Over here on the other side we have examples of things that are not integers. So decimals and fractions are not integers like 1 fourth, 2 eighths, 0 0.012, 94 hundredths, and 89 hundredths. Whoops, okay. So when you're adding when you're adding integers, if the sign is the same, all you need to do is find the sum of the numbers and keep the sign. So this first one right here, we have negative 1 plus negative 9 equals negative 10. Well, 1 plus 9 is 10. You already know that. So since they're both negatives, you just keep that sign. So you see here I have a negative in front of my 10. Here's an another example. We have negative 90 plus negative 6 and we get negative 96. Now these down here are easy because they're positive numbers. So 10 plus 12 is simply 22 and 15 plus 15 is simply 30. Okay. So what about if the signs are different? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. All right. It's really helpful to use a number line. So right here I have a number line and I have an equation of negative 5 plus positive 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little pen out and I'm going to start from 0 and I'm going to go to negative 5. So I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a positive 3. So I'm going to go back the other way. 1, 2, and 3. And I end up right here on negative 2. So negative 5 plus positive 3 is simply negative 2. So let's do some other examples. Okay, here's another one. We have negative 5 plus positive 8. So again, I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to start with negative 5. So here I go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have to go the other way, positive 8. So I'm going to start at negative 5 and count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I land on 3. So negative 5 plus positive 8 is positive 3. Let's do one more. Here we have negative 9 plus positive 12. So I'm going to start at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'm going to move positive 12. So I'm going to start from negative 9 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and again I land on 3, so the answer is positive 3. Okay, now there's one more way that you can do it. You can find the absolute value of the number, and now the absolute value of a number is simply its distance from 0 on the number line. So, if we have the absolute value of negative 4, it's 4. Because how many spaces does it take from 0 to get to negative 4? It takes 1, 2, 3, 4. So its absolute value is 4. 
Same thing as positive 3. How many spaces from 0? The absolute value of positive 3 is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that's what absolute value is. Pretty simple. Okay, so here's how it works. If I have negative 6 plus 9. Whoa, my pointer is going crazy again. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to do is find the absolute value of the numbers. So the absolute value of 6 is 6 and the absolute value of 9 is 9. So our next step is subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Well, 6 is less than 9, so I'm going to go 9 minus 6 and I'm left with 3. So step 3, you're going to use the sign of the bigger number for your answer. So we have a negative 6 here and we have a positive 9. 9 is the larger number, so my answer is going to be positive 3. Now, one thing you have to note is this only works if there are opposite signs. So you're not going to do this if you have positive 9 plus positive 6 or negative 6 plus negative 9. Okay, and that's all I have for today. So some new vocabulary words I want you to memorize are the definition of integer and the definition of absolute value. Hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.